Aloha everybody, it is I, Gabriel Gaming 5000 k and welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake Part 1. The game came out in 2019. I've played the original Resident Evil 2 on GameCube. This game came out when I was a little kid. It came out on PS1 and on the N64. But in 2000, it came out on GameCube. Okay. Playing this on Xbox One. Let's do it! Show settings, max brightness. I'm gonna make sure it's brighter. Min brightness. I'll make it barely visible. Brightness. There's a typewriter. Okay. It's all good. New game mode has been added to extras mode in the main menu. Leon S. Kennedy. After a few days of radio silence from his new post, Leon S. Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out. Unbeknownst to him, a nightmare awaits. Claire Redfield. That's that's Chris's younger sister. A different nightmare awaits Claire Redfield, who is unaware of how drastically her very ordinary life is about to change. Options. I'm going to go for an aim assist. And turn off vibration. Camera. Aiming. View. And gameplay. Aiming. Camera wobble. Display. Medical color. I'll, I'll take blue. Dot sight. Blue. Because I like the color blue. That's my favorite. Voice volume, background, rock, background music volume goes off, sound effects go down. I'll take that. Language, RE, net, default. Let's start off with Leon S. Kennedy and, and enjoy this opening cutscene. For players who are unfamiliar with action games, I'll do assisted. Aim assist, recover a certain amount of health automatically. Enemies are a little weaker. Let's do it! And enjoy the cutscene! Serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes. Her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to teeth in you. I saw a taxi Oh, come on. Just getting good. Do. What am I going to do?
turns around. That's weird. Explore your surroundings. Okay. Our stick lets you look around. And the left stick lets you walk by moving it. We're going to play as Leon Kennedy. We're heading to the Missouri gas station. Click the left stick to run. Hello? Anybody there? Something's not right. Uh, let's investigate the store. Herbs, ice cream. Herb, ice cream? Yuck! That's disgusting. Let's just look around in this gas station. Oh, well, I got slushies. I love those things. Cold drinks. Mm. You all right? We have a guest clerk. Don't the clerk move. got bitten. I'll be back for you. Leon Kennedy is voiced by Nick Apostles in this one. And we got our flashlight. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Disgusting. Freeze! I'll shoot! Left trigger plus right trigger. Oh, Draw plus fire. There's our enemy. Gotta aim for the head. That way they die. Alive. Why did I just waste bullets? Okay. He killed the zombie. Just killed a guard. What in the world? Then we go to his by his desk and get the key. A well-worn key. Open inventory. It's time to escape from the store. There's our health. The green one is your fine. Matilda, handgun. 12 shot capacity 9mm polyframe handgun. Non standard issue gun with problems that makes it impractical for the general public. Let's examine that key. A storage room key. The key to the gas station storage room. Alright. Wow. Bikini Girl posters. Oh. All right. Let's go. Let's go over there. Using key items. We can need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle. Select the item and then use command. And then the use command. Okay. All right, we don't need that anymore. Go. Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies everywhere. Not cool. When they grab you, they take a chunk out of you, which is annoying. Get out of my way, you zombie scum. Ah! Leave me alone. I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. Come on! Get in! Hold on.
going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Welcome to Raccoon City, home of Umbrella. Opening credits. Capcom presents. Directors Kazunori Kaidoi, Yasuhiro Anbo, Masato Miyazaki, Yuki Yamamoto, Gazfry Satoshi Takamatsu, Yosuke Yamagata, Yoshitsugu Tanaka, Chiako Kijima, Yoshiki Adachi, Yukachi, Masanari Murakami, Hideo Hidehiro Goda, Masatoshi Fuzukawa, Fukuzawa, Kentaro Nakashima, Tatsuo Isoko. Yoshigaki Hirabayashi, Tsuyoshi Kanda, Jun Takayuchi. Resident Evil 2. So the story begins. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Like we're walking from here. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, Claire! Claire, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. How about you? You can't stay here, it's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. Gotta run away from those zombies. This is out of control. Gotta get to the police station, folks. I'm gonna run away from these hordes of zombies before they, they eat Leon. Run! And there's no point in wasting bullets. Just run! Shit. It's everybody. They've all turned. Because Raccoon City is infected by the T-Virus. There it is. The station. We gotta get to the Raccoon Police Department. Hope you like bullets. 
Punk. Huh. Another good bullet wasted. Not cool. Alright. At least we made it out alive. <laughs> Let's check. No, nothing here. No items in this area. But for right now, let's get inside, okay? Hello? Is anybody here? Let's explore my surroundings. Right now, we're gonna pull this lever up. You got first aid spray. A healing item that will restore you to full health. Pretty awesome. Let's just look around and see what we have here. What do we got? A spade door, which requires a key with a spade on it. Let's see. That's a lion statue. Lion, herb, and bird. This is a lion medallion. A large ornamental medallion adorned with a relief of a ferocious lion. I think that's my first medallion that I need to collect. To put this in the machine. In the slot. Yeah. First part of the door opens. Good start. Well, right now, I'm gonna go find some ammo. It's on the other side. On the second floor. The spade door. Handgun ammo. 9mm parabellum handgun bullets. The most common of bullets. They are favored for their stable flight trajectory and moderate recoil. Press X button to reload. Alright. That's fine. I needed that. Let's go to the other side. This is the waiting room. And we got green herbs. What do we have here? Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know why we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation? Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to, a, to just a few of the more unusual points of interest that our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it was used to be an art museum. The area's features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind of a, us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of a generous donation from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass windows, which attract visitors and from around the world. Well, ma'am, frames are going down and... Sounds going down, going off a bit. Okay, there's another spade door. And there's a safe. Oh. Let's check. Let's check our map. Making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. The red one is, is why you're currently searching. The blue, search completed. But right now, let's go. More 
reports. There has to be someone here. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Streaming. It's in the east hallway. Okay, clear map. I know. They include typewriters and an exclamation mark. They also got health and recovery items. As you take damage, your health monitor in the bottom left will drop from flying across shimmer to danger. When in danger, quickly heal yourself with a green herb or first aid spray before it's too late. Alright. There you got files including tutorials, miscellaneous, police station. Okay. Press LT and right trigger to change file group. Press the control pads left or right to flip pages. Use the right stick to go to, to go to the next page. Okay. But right now, let's check out this item box. This item box lets you, lets you store items. That way you can make room for your pocket. Oh, there's a tape over there. You need a knife for it. Just like they did in Resident Evil 7. Okay, after pulling the lever down, duck under. fuse is missing. We're gonna have to find one. Why is this floor flooded? Alright. Let's see what we got there. Mm -hmm. Nope. Open up that door. Turn the lights on. We're in the press room. More, more ammo. Let's see here. Uh, just only one item. That's it. I'd say let's get out of here. Hold the A button to move that. Move that shelf out of your way. Come on. That thing is so darn heavy. Okay. Get in the restroom. Whoa. That toilet's overflowing. Water all over the floor. Another first aid spray. There's a chain over there. We need something to cut. Cut those chains down. A tool, that is. Open right up. now. Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'm coming. Calm down. You don't need to be impatient, buddy. I'll get you out! Please! Give me your hand. Help me! I got you. Oh, 
Oh my god! Officer's notebook. We got a goddess statue with three medallions. And also a way up the underground, then to the parking, and a way out. We get we 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 did the lion statue first. That way it'll be easier for me. And they also a goddess statue and a unicorn statue. Unicorn statue, fish, scorpion, vase. Goddess statue, goddess. Bow, snake, lion, statue, a lion, wheat, and a uh, falcon, a bird. Oh, poor guy. He got ripped in half. That's time to return to the main hall. But zombies can open the door whenever they want to. So we're gonna have to fight them off. We knocked their hats off. That's a good way of tearing off their limbs. Some of these zombies like to play possum and they come out of the window. What the heck? Looks like we gotta get back to the main hall. Everywhere. You could say that again, dude. When you aim for their heads. Their heads explode rarely, and a zombie is appearing from behind. Fuck off, you son of a gun. All right, I'll fight him. Guys can be a real pain in the butt. Oh, dead end. Gotta get the heck out of there. Come on. Oh my god. God damn it! Watch out! I got it. Pwned! You're safe. For now. Thanks. Marvin Brana. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't... I couldn't... Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir.
combat knife. Leon just changed his outfit to Raccoon police to police officer uniform. And there's Marvin Brano. That's the lieutenant who got bit by z zombified Brad Vickers. I remember that in Resident Evil 3. The remake. Combat knife. Equip on the inventory screen to use. This knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. LB, ready, right trigger, slash. Can be used to counterattack by pressing the LB when you are caught by an enemy. It can only be retrieved once you defeat him. Combat knife. A standard military grade knife. Sure to come in handy in a pinch. Ready, sub weapon. You gotta have to find three medallions. You obtained the lion medallion. Press LB and then. Press the right trigger so that you slash. Awesome. We'll cut that tape down. Open it. And pull the lever so that the door, this the is cage door, opens up. That is. <laughs> I would agree with Wooden bullets. Sturdy pieces of wood that can be used to board up windows. Perfect for keeping the riffraff out. This will hold off zombies coming out of the window. They're coming from outside. More bullets. More herbs. Green herb native to the Arclay Mountains. It'll store a small amount of health. To combine it, it'll be mixed herbs. This blend of two green herbs will restore a medium amount of health. That could be useful, that's for sure. Right now, let's go to the west side of the hallway. There's a blocked path. What's this? What was that I saw? Okay, you gotta put the wooden boards over there so that the zombies don't give you a jump scare. <gasps> oh my god! Just fell out! And that's a club door. Kinda looks like a clover. Wood boards. Okay, I'm gonna check my map. We're heading to the operations room. Record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their uh, top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, Adenimum, one of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our common equipment, so we remain cut from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Four people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here, David Ford. Uh, what do we have here? Police station, one floor map. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Holy crud! Zombie! You're dead. 
gave me a bit of a jump scare. Right. Yeah. Using a knife would really help sometimes. We got another chain door. We'll have to find something that can cut cut chains later. But for now, I'm going to check my map. We have to get to the safety deposit room right now. There's no going back yet. There's a crate over there. We can hop on and over the window. Cracked window. That leads to the hallway. Nice. I think we're gonna have to fight that guy. Uh, one leg off. Go for the hands. That's good. There's that possum playing zombie. Show him he's boss. But not yet. It's inside. Oh my god. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this message find some spare keys and fix this right now. You you know who you are. You know who you are, bastard. Who else fucked this up best badly? Okay. Who messed up those keys? What the heck? Okay, 104. Enter. Nope. Already opened. 105. Enter. No. 106. Yes. That's a film. 107. Enter. Mm -mm. 108. Nope. 109. Alright. You get more bullets. Perfect. The, the two and three are totally missing, so we're gonna have to find those. Oh, we get more bullets. A roll of film. An undeveloped roll of film. I don't know what this is. Okay. Let's examine it. Film. Commemoratives. An undeveloped roll fil of film. Commemorative is written on it. Alright. We need a key to get the shotgun. Anyway, we'll go back later. Right now, I gotta kill that freak. He's probably dead. No, not yet. What another good way to waste your bullets, to be honest. The zombies coming out of the freaking window! Oh my god! Let's place it over there! I don't want to have to waste any more ammo. Let's go get some more ammo right now. Gunpowder. Standard grade gunpowder. Combine two of these to create handgun ammo. Let's look at this book. 
Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs natives to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blend that heighten the herbs' effects. It has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to the one doctor of patient medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal a human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. Alright, let's turn that light on to the dark room. Let's read this. The film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Got a red herb. A red herb native to the Art Clay Mountains. It can't be used as is. Have to combine it. Mixed herbs, green plus red. All right. If I could put this roll film in there, let's read the green herb. Mixed herbs, green plus R. This blend of two different herbs will fully restore your health. You have to put the film in there. A commemorative photo, which is a picture of a king holding a scepter and a book. Really awesome, really. Is that the stars team? Good lord. Let's get the heck out of here and go upstairs. You have to kill this zombie coming from the stairs. Let's use that knife. Alright. Use LB to counter. Aim for the leg. That way it will help. Okay. I'm not gonna go around wasting any more ammo. That's for sure. We got more herbs. Let's see if I could combine it. No, no. We can't. Let's go inside the restroom. Can we open this one? Oh my god! A zombie! Let's see here. There's a combination. E, C, M. No. E, A, P. Cap. Like Capcom. Got shotgun shells. I don't need this one right now. Let's read it. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence over again. It's going to be very annoying. Portable safe. A small portable safe. Let's open our inventory. You can examine an item from different angles by selecting it and using the magnifying glass examine command. You might reveal something that helps you progress. Let's examine it. It's going to be annoying. Nope. Let's keep that. Let's see. Let's try again. Oh no. This is really annoying me. I don't like this puzzle.
try again. Yes! Booyah! We got a spare part! A small part of some sort. What it is? Let's examine it. Spare key! A keypad button for a terminal of some sort. There is nothing written on it. Let's just use it for now. The healing item, that is. We need a valve to turn off the steam. Okay, I'm going to go back again. Oh my god! No! I broke the friggin' window! Okay. It's probably the number two. We'll carry the way. C102. Enter. Got more gunpowder. Get it, Leon. We need the knife. Combine it. Nice. Let's check the other side. What do we need? Wait. Okay. I'll try this one. This gives you shotgun shells. I don't have a shotgun. Let's go into the west office. You got another gunpowder. Uses of gunpowder. Handgun ammo, ye two gunpowders. Shotgun shells, gunpowder plus high grade gunpowder, yellow. Mag ammo, two high grade gunpowder, yellow. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. Oh man, let's go inside that office. Well, there's a safe here. Nine left, fifteen right, left seven. We, this gives you a hip pouch. A small belt of pouch good for carrying more items. Nice! Okay, those zombies like to play possum, so I would suggest that you be careful. <laughs> oh my god! You scared the living heck out of me, buddy! Hey! Get off me! Boom. Ah, thanks for the knife, pal. Oh, let's read this one. Ruby's first assignment. Neon S. Kennedy, we are putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success in the emissions of our first names and put the letters in order of our desk. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first test is to remember your fellow officer's name, but you figure that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little more work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Branagh. Scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. 
You glad you're not here, Rakeem? Okay, this one is. My name has got to be the desks when it's on the floor. Let's read this one now. Operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have trained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. All right. Let's read this out. Let's see. If there's any blood? Marvin Bruno, Rita Phillips. Try to make sure I remember those hints. Okay. All we need is M R G. Booyah. N E D Ned. Open this up. You get high capacity mag for the Mathilda. A custom part of a part for the Mathilda that extends quick capacity to twenty four rounds and shortens reload time. Let's combine it. Ooh yeah. Let's let's keep looking around, folks. I want to just strip that zombie. Let's look inside. Oh, look! This is Jojo! Yeah, not Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> kind of reminded me of that show. Oh my god! That zombie's up there? Do I hear roaring? Oh, oh, crazy. Shit. Deal with him. Oh my god. That's about a break. No, this knife is not unlimited. I'm sorry, but it's not unlimited at all. We're out of the West Office. So, we're gonna go over there. Oh, there's a blocked path. Of course there is. It's in the records room. Well, I'll have to check my map. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna have to. Let's see here. Go back to the west office and search for that key. Where's the spade key when you need one, folks? Oh my god, he's still alive! Yeah, good thing I threw his arm out. You won't have to ask you or me. Oh my god. We've already been into the men's locker room, so we're gonna have to go to the third floor. Uh-oh. 
Is that a zombie? Oh, let's check that locker. This is D T M. Open this up and we get Magnum ammo. We can't get that yet. Hey guys, a spade key. A fancy looking key. Let's examine it. A spade shaped key. Alright. That's nice. Now let's go into this hallway. What in the? That mysterious monster. Let's combine the gunpowder. Pick up this thing. I'm gonna have to combine it. Oh. Another hip pouch. All right. Booyah. Some guy's scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off. After all I've done for them. But if that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I put it all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and it's sayonara, suckers! But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, Kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me? Your own superior. Now you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. Hmm. We're going to have to get a, a bomb to destroy that thing. Get more bullets? Why is that clock covered in blood? Seriously, why is it covered in blood? So this is the library. Kind of looks like a library to me. I digress. I was right. It's a library, actually. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. Oh my god! That was a weak bitch. Whoa! And we got annoying zombies coming to attack me. He's over there! Off your hands, scum. Well, that's all that does, buddy. There's another one. Three of them. What the heck? Oh, excuse me. Except that knife is about to totally break. You bastard! shot. What the? That show those zombies. That'll show them. <laughs> That, that, that bookshelf over there. Right. A little bit. Well, right now, let's see here. We'll have to go to this area. A unicorn. Fish. Scorpion. Water. So that gives me a unicorn medallion. A large ornamental medallion adorned with a relief of a mystical unicorn. Unicorn is a pony with a, a horn on its forehead. We got police station the upper floors map. All right, we're in the lounge. And more gunpowder. That door's locked. We're gonna have to find some keys. One of the keys, that is. Now get out of here. 
Hey, what's this? A bread book. An old worn book. Use the spade key. Alright. We're in the main hallway so that we can go see Lieutenant Bruno. Here we go. Cutting time. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Yes. Claire. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh. Thanks, Lieutenant. Yeah, you're welcome. Claire made it to the Raccoon Police Department. Let's place that unicorn medallion on, on the first floor. So that the second door opens up. And it's time to go look for the last medallion. Well, right now, let's check our map to see. Gotta use the spade door, the spade key to open the west office. The door to the west office. Right. No going back over there. Until we find a key. It's a very good thing I have to go through. By placing one of those in the cracked window. Let the zombies see that I can go. But right now, we're using the spade key. Alright, we're back. Dude, is seriously a We have to get to the waiting room. The waiting room. I think I can finally get it. Alright, go upstairs to the second floor and head to the waiting room where the spade door is. And unlock it. By the way, you can discard items that have been served their purpose or any other key items with a check mark by selecting the trash discard command. Yeah, good idea so that you can make more room. By the way, we got another plank. Art article, the redstone, the ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry, the diamond that, that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeals of jewels. The mysterious redstone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It is said that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone's been long enshrouded in legend and will be on display during auction. 
There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well approach with care, for devil relies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned to caring nobles who love their subjects into beings despots and more terrible than Caligula. We have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are faith in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. And there's a statue. Oh, we got a key card. Let's see here. What do we got? Statue's left arm. A left arm made of plaster. We'll have to... We're gonna have to examine that. It looks like it's supposed to be holding something. Go figure. Red book. An old worn book. Examine it. A piece of plastic shaped like a book. It looks like it was being held by a hand at some point. That's an art object. Well, I have to combine that arm. Left arm with bug. A left arm made of plaster. This book fits in it. Fits in it like fits in it like a glove. Let's examine it. Oh, cool. Very cool. But this knife is about to break in the process. I have to place it over there so that he lets go of the scepter that's holding the red ruby. What's the red ruby for? I don't know. We'll find out soon. Scepter. A short sack with a jewel in it. Alright. Totally awesome. What's <coughs> that thing? Oh, uh, that wasn't a crate. That wasn't breakable. Right now. But right now, I'm gonna go and examine that thing. All you gotta do is pull the lever up, and it will give you a red jewel. A pricey looking gemstone. Let's examine it. Weapon soccer key card. Weapon soccer key card is written on it. Please return all firearms to their original locations after use. Five, six, three, four, five, seven. Please note, please return this card promptly after use. Please contact the firearms unit if you lose this card. This key card may only be used by an active member of RPD. Please exercise caution when handling firearms. Please return all firearms to their original locations after use. All right. Let's examine it. Sturdy pieces of wood that can be used to board up windows. Perfect for keeping the riffraff out. Zombies. Right. Right about now, let's go. Carry on. Oh my god! A helicopter just splashed! The world? Oh, look, another herb. Nice. All right, let's go outside. Hey! Claire! Leon? Claire! Hold on, I'll be right there. Okay! It's on fire. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah, of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Oh! Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. <laughs> Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Claire, you need to go. Now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Here we all said. Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, did you copy? 
Marvin. Damn it. It's not responding. Yeah, hear what Leon said, you know what time it is? And Claire's like, yeah. Dinner time. <laughs> and the zombies come up to eat Claire. After she said dinner time. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Cutting tool. A large work tool. Alright, I'm gonna have to make room. Some items can be combined with other items, either to free up a slot or to create something new. Use the combine command to do just that. Alright, let's examine this tool. Bolt cutter, a tool for cutting through chains and other metal objects. Alright, next, in there. Oh, back to where we came from. The bolt cutters. Where are we? In a different office. Got more zombie mode. Take the arms off. Oh, what the hell? After, after the legs. Oh, the knife just broke. Told you that. No choice. Sorry, I had to make room for it. It's gonna be even more annoying with the zombies coming out of the window. We got an electrical part. Booyah. Love them. Come my way. Okay, put the wooden board here so that more zombies will come out. We got some more ammo. We got a flash grenade. A hand grenade that creates a large flash of light and a loud sound of detonation. Equip on the inventory screen to use. Guaranteed to today's and stun enemies within the effective radius. LB ready. Right trigger throw. Can be used to counterattack LB. By pressing the LB button when you are caught by an enemy, but its effectiveness is greatly reduced. Alright! Shoot the legs. No, 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 no. Alright, oh, stop wasting bullets. Very good thing you have to get rid of the zombies. Kind of remind me of Dead Space when you have to dismember their body parts. To weaken them and kill them. Alright, let's go into that office. Pick up the round handle. That's good. We don't need, we don't need that right now. Let's move that chair full of stuff out of the way so that the path to the door is cleared. But right now, I'm going to have to use the electrical part. Oh my god! That hurts, psycho! Electrical part, a rod chain electrical part. Let's examine it and see what it is. Fuse for the main hall. An electric fuse. Main hall shutter is written on it. Place it over there. Deal with what him. the? All right. That's good. Very good. That's a high grade gunpowder. Gonna keep. Oh, fire escape. Gonna grab up the wooden boards. All right. All right then. Sometimes you don't have to work like that. Bro, no. You okay, buddy? Still alive. 
Yeah, he is still alive. Right about now, we gotta go find the last medallion. What items do we still have? Okay. Gotta get to the safety deposit room. By using that card. So that we could get the shotgun. That valve leads to the steam room. Put the key in there, and open up that, open it up, alright, gotta check, I don't need this one right now, I'll get the W870, a 4 round capacity 12 gauge pump action shotgun, it's sturdy steel action makes it popular model, reliable and easy to control. Press the control pads to change weapons. Shotgun shells. 12 gauge shotgun shells, 18.1 millimeter in diameter. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna have to reload. Right. I'm gonna go find some more shotgun shells. Okay. Probably gonna get out of here right now. Okay. Totally good right now, folks. I'm going up upstairs. No going the wrong way, folks. Shut up. Just so Ah, got what you deserve, huh? Uh-oh. We're going to the men's locker room. Round handle. A plain round handle. Let's examine it. Valve handle. A handle to a valve with a special... with a specially shaped slot. Cool. Use it... so that the steam... Is turned off. Who punctured a hole in that thing? They got toothbrushes and razors and toothpaste. Oh my god. Why is the shower broken? Kill that. Kill him. He's already dead. We got another gunpowder. Combine it. Oh wow! A lot of possum playing zombies that are gonna come and attack me. Can't really tell if they are or not. I'm gonna combine. Oh my god! You gotta lick her! That thing's gonna be very annoying. He will slash you. Okay, these lickers are blind. It's a bat. They will use their tongue and they will slash you. And pinning you to the ground, they'll slash your head off. Last thing grenades might help. Oh, blind that thing. But they'll still claw you. Man, I hate liquors. They're annoying. <laughs> I'm in caution right now. 
that's no good. Not very good. This is where the lock is. Gonna unlock it. We need a diamond key to open this diamond door. Oh, of course not. Dead. What do we got here? Another red herb. Let's go inside of this office. We got a battery. 9 volt battery. Standard 9 volt battery. And internal memo. September 22, 1998. Office supply internal relocation notice. Keep resistant to three number combination safe. Move from Star's office 2 floor to West office 1 floor. The combo is left 9, right 15, left 7. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. Oh, Lord have mercy. Is that Wesker in the picture? That's one of my favorite characters in the game. <laughs> All right. More shotgun shells. We've got trophies. It appears we need to get a hard drive. Yeah. We need to find the dongle key. All we got is another flash grenade. An electric guitar. Is that Chris's office? First aid spray. I'm gonna use this one for now. So much better. All right. We've got darts for target practice. The heck? I'm playing darts in the office. Right now, we're out of here. Gotta find that bomb. I need to check the map. Okay. It's in the operations room. We have to go there. <sighs> okay, it's on the west side. Told you, you need a, a club key for it. There's another fat zombie. That looks like a construction work interfering. Son of a bitch. Say that again, Leon. Worry about him. No, we don't. Let's just use the bolt cutter to cut those chains off. Electronic gadget. A medium sized electronic gadget. Let's examine it. It's some sort of electronic gadget. 
9 volt battery. Rope way. At least that's not Duracell. <laughs> detonator. A detonator for C4 explosives. Alright. That's cool. Got clean air. Combine it. Another flashbang grenade. Jack, a jackhammer. The West Storage Room. Of course. Deal with her. It's shot. in the third floor. Is that the Jester from Devil May Cry 3? He's not wearing purple. He's wearing yellow. Okay, folks. We're going to place that detonator over there in 10 seconds. Run away. Don't let it explode on you, Leon. statue. Okay. Looks rusted. Oh my god. Gotta deal with him. Where is he? The zombie. Shit. Haha. -ha. Maiden medallion. A large or ornamental medallion adorned with a relief of a beautiful maiden. That's good. <laughs> oh, liquors! Get out of my face. Jesus. I'm going to steam. Getting annoyed right now. Stop licking me! All I'm doing is wasting ammo on that freak. I have no use for this bulk cutter. We'll have to keep looking. Okay. Hold the A button to move the shelf out of your way. That's a cabinet. Right. Perfect. Now it's time to go to the main hall. No, no. Don't go the wrong way. It's the main hall. Okay. 
Hey. Hey, Marvin. Okay. Place it here so that the whole door finally opens. Alright, it's time to find a way out. So it goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Brenna! Marvin! It's time to go. Hey, Marvin. Ah! Oh! We need to get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I... Uh, save yourself. Come on, I've got you. Go! Oh! Look, we can still make it out of here together. You just can... It's too late. I tried, Leon. But I couldn't stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go! I understand. He's about to become infected. Poor guy. Great. I won't let you down, Marvin. There's no way I, we can go back. Okay. Now that that's done, why don't we go I'll pick up some more items? We need a, we need some jack, a jackhammer. Okay. Let's go end the stream for right now. There's a typewriter. This creates safe data. All right, guys. That's it for part one of Leon's campaign. I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000K. I will see you in part two. See you then.